In this video, we will do some simple geometry problems involving perimeter and area. Remember that the perimeter is the distance around the outside of a figure. We always measure perimeter in linear units. Example, feet, inches, yards. Some formulas you should definitely know. Perimeter of a rectangle. To walk around the outside of a rectangle, you would walk the width, the length, the width again, the length again. So the perimeter of a rectangle, P, is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. You did 2 lengths plus 2 widths. If you want to walk around the outside of a circle that has a radius of R, the perimeter of the circle, called the circumference of the circle, the circumference is 2 times pi times r. Recall that pi is approximately 3.14. Any figure, so for example this figure here that has a whole bunch of crooked looking sides, this figure has side A and then B and then C and then D and so forth. To find the perimeter you simply walk around the outside and see how far you've traveled. So this figure, its perimeter is A plus B plus C plus D plus E and so forth. The area of a figure is the space inside of the figure and we measure it in square units. Example, square feet, square inches, square yards. Some figures you should know the area of. Area of a rectangle is the base times the height, or length times the width. A circle with radius r has an area of pi times the radius squared. So you square the radius and then multiply by that 3.14. The area of a triangle is half the base times the height. These are definitely formulas you should know. Let's do a few problems involving perimeter and area. A rectangular room has an area of 350 square feet. One wall is 20 feet long. How long is the other wall and what's the perimeter of the room? Geometry problems, it's often helpful to draw a little figure for yourself. The inside space is 350 square feet and it tells us that one wall is 20 feet long and we want to know this length. All right, well we know that this is involving area of the figure. Area of a rectangle is length times width. We've been given the area 350. We want to find the length and we've been given the width. It's 20. So 350 equals length times 20 to isolate L in this equation, to solve for L in this equation, I need to get rid of that 20 by dividing both sides by 20. So now on the right side I am left with just L and on the right side I have 350 divided by 20 which is 17.5. So the length of the other wall is 17.5 feet. Units are important. When you're writing your final answer, make sure you write a sentence that includes the units of your answer. It also asked us to find the perimeter of this room. So now we know that one wall is 20 feet and this other wall is 17.5 feet. Perimeter is the distance around the outside. For a rectangle, we travel 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So 2 times the 20 plus 2 times the 17.5, which is 75 feet. The perimeter of the room is 75 feet. All right, now we have a triangle and it has an area of 250 square inches and it tells us that the base of the triangle is 75 inches. So I'll draw a little figure. It tells us that on the inside of the triangle is 250 square inches and the base of this triangle is 75 inches. And we want to know 
this height. Well, we know the area of a triangle is 1 half times base times height. We've been given the area of this triangle is 250 square inches. And we've been given the base of this triangle is 75 inches. And we don't know the height. I need to solve this equation for h. So I will go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 to clear away that fraction. So I have 500 equals 75 times h. And then I divide both sides by 75 in order to isolate h. we get h is approximately 6.7 when I divide 500 by 75. So that tells me the triangle is 6.7 inches tall, approximately. I did round, so I say approximately. A circle has a circumference of 125 meters. What is its radius and what is its area? So I'm going to draw my circle. Here is the radius r, and we're talking about the circumference of the circle. The formula involving the circumference is 2 times pi times r. We've been given the circumference is 125 meters, and that's equal to 2 times pi times r. And now I want to solve for r. So I will divide both sides by 2 times pi. That cancels out the 2 and the pi on the right side, leaving just r. And on the left side, remember when you type this in the calculator to put parentheses around the denominator. It's 125 divided by all of the denominator. 2 times pi. So when I type that in the calculator, type that in the calculator, I get approximately 19.89. So the radius of the circle is approximately 19.89 meters. We're also asked to find the, the area of the circle. Well, we know that the area of a circle is pi times r squared. So we know the radius of the circle is 19.89. So I plug that in for radius. That's being squared. I pull out the calculator and get an approximation. I get about 1242.85. So the area of the circle is approximately 1,242.85 square meters.